Hi everyone, welcome back to Gedo. Today we will show you how to replace the charging port flex on the Samsung Galaxy A51 5G version. To start, we need to have the right tools to proceed with the repair which you can find in the description. First, take out the SIM tray and then the back cover removal. To remove the back cover, it needs to hit gently around the back cover edges until the pasted adhesive becomes soft. For this, we are using a heating pad. Place the back cover side on the heating pad and select the mobile phone heating option and leave it till it completes. Alternatively, you can use a heat gun or hair dryer. Once the heating has completed, use a suction cup to create an opening between the frame and rear cover. Next, insert a plastic cut pry tool or something similar to cut the adhesive around the back cover. Next, take out the back cover and take out the mainboard frame with the wireless coil by undoing screws. Undo 9 screws and then using a pry tool lift the wireless coil by cutting the adhesive under it. Next, move to the bottom section and take out the second PCB cover by undoing 8 screws. Next, take out the cover and undo the screw securing the secondary board. Next, disconnect the touch ID camera, main ribbon flex and LCD flex connectors. Next, disconnect the secondary board connection cable from the logic board. Next, take out the secondary board including the charger port, apply a little heat and soften the glue under it. Be gentle in this process and take out the board using a pry tool. Next, replace the broken charging port with a new unit and place it on the board. Next, secure the new secondary board including the charger port by adding the screw. Next, connect the LCD plug, main ribbon flex and touch ID camera into the secondary board. Next, place the secondary cover by adding 8 screws. Next, place the mainboard frame with the wireless coil to the body. 
Secure the frame by adding 9 screws. Before installing the main back cover, make sure it has enough glue on it. If not, use B7000 glue or new double sided back cover adhesive. Finally, we are adding binding clips to tie in the rear car with the body. If not, you can use some rubber bands and leave them for some time. Hope you have enjoyed the replacement guide. Let us know if you have any questions. Please like, share and comment on our videos. Hit the subscribe button for more videos.